plant a seed even when you're done give it air and water and a lot of sun and in a few weeks or so you know a plant will grow children who have access to green spaces can benefit both physically and mentally studies report children concentrate better play in more creative ways have more positive self-perception and better coping skills in the city, this can be challenging, given the limited amount of space. Nonetheless, Principal Raymond Isola from Sanchez Elementary School found a way to give the students a garden by erecting the district's first garden wall that's off the grid. It's kind of a, a school community tool of learning and how we can work together to be able to look at some solutions for issues that we're dealing with, from eating healthy foods to um, producing energy in alternative ways. So it's uh, kind of a way that we are really exploring this as a school community. Very glad for this uh, project this year. I'm so happy because every child is very happy. Lorenzo Scarponi, the founder of Slow Food San Francisco, and a team of organizations held events to raise the funds for the $10,000 garden. He said he spent years advocating for school gardens, but wants schools to take it a step further. They have to put a space in, in a day that they have to talk about it. What is it? important in your area as a fruit and vegetable, what do we eat to, uh, to pay respect to the farming. This is Monica Jensen for the Public Press.